I've just come out of the court, the public gallery. There's about 150 people in the court, including mostly journalists. There's probably about 15 public. We couldn't hear anything on the video link at all. The journalists were all shouting, we can't hear, we can't hear, we can't hear. And they were getting very irate that they couldn't hear anything and report on it. And it was even so farcical. There was a woman at the other end of the link and she was bent over and we all started laughing because it was just so farcical. So in the end, the judge said, all rise, and she was going to sort out the link and to come back later. But on the way out, I spoke to a court uh, assistant and I said, is Julian going to be on the link? And she said, no, he's not going to be there in person and he's not going to be there on the link either. So that is an absolute travesty of justice that he can't even see who his accusers are in person. hear anything inside it's um, the sound system is so it's uh, really soundproof in there you can't hear outside at all in fact I couldn't hear anything because we're all so quiet waiting for everything to be set up and straining our ears to hear what's on the link there's no way we could hear what was out here as well it's not a yes. technology problem right yes I mean if you've got if you got Elon Musk he'd fix it in five minutes or Julian himself would fix it in five minutes so any of Julian's supporters that are techno savvy could fix that in five minutes. It's an absolute farce and a travesty of justice. Free Assange! Free Assange! Free Julian! Free Julian! May he be released!